Hey guys, welcome back to the math office. Today, we're going to talk about different angle pairs. Now we're going to talk about three different types of angle pairs. Complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. First, let's take a look at complementary angles. Complementary angles are just two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. Simple enough, right? Let's take a look at an example problem here on the board. We have two complementary angles here on the board, 35 degrees and 7x minus 22. Now our problem is we have to solve for x, so let's do that. We have to use the fact that these are complementary angles to set up an equation. So 35 plus 7x minus 22 equals 90. So let's write that first. 35 plus 7x minus 22 equals 90. All right, now we just have to use some algebra to solve this. So first, let's combine like terms here. So we have 13 plus 7x equals 90. I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. Minus 13. Minus 13. So we have 7x equals 77. Then the last thing we've got to do is divide by 7. Divide by 7 there. Divide by 7 there. X equals 11. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick example of how you use complementary angles in an algebra problem. Now let's take a look at supplementary angles. All right, supplementary angles are two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. So let's do a quick problem using supplementary angles. We have one angle that's 75 degrees and another angle whose measure is 16x minus 55. So once again, we're going to have to solve for this variable, and we have to use the fact that these are supplementary angles. We can set up an equation like we did in our last problem. 75 plus 16x minus 55 equals 180. So let's write this down. 75 plus 16x minus 55 equals 180. And just like in our last problem, we just have to use some algebra and figure out what x is equal to. So first, let's do 75 minus 55. So that'll be 20 plus 16x equals 180. All right, next thing we've got to do is subtract 20 from both sides. Minus 20, minus 20. So 16x equals 160. Okay, I'm going to write it up here just a sec so I don't run out of space. So let me rewrite what we have. We're on 16x equals 160. Now we've got to divide both sides by 16. Divide by 16, divide by 16. 16s cancel out on the left. Then 160 over 16 is 10. So x equals 10 in this problem. All right, so that's a quick look at an algebra problem with supplementary angles. Now we've got to look at vertical angles. That's our last pair for this session. Vertical angles are different in nature from complementary and supplementary angles because they're formed a certain way. Let's take a look at our picture. Here we have an endpoint and four rays emanating from that endpoint. Vertical angles are formed by two pairs of opposite rays. Let's take a closer look at our picture. Here we have a ray and a ray going in the opposite direction. So we have one pair of opposite rays. And then this ray is going in the opposite direction of this ray. So here's our second pair of opposite rays. Now when we have two pairs of opposite rays, we have two pairs of vertical angles formed. These two angles are vertical angles, and these two angles are vertical angles. For this problem, we're just going to deal with these two. We have 10x plus 9 and x plus 36. Now, another fact about vertical angles is that they're congruent. That is, their angle measures are equal to each other. So we can use that fact to solve this problem. Let's take a look. 10x plus 9 is equal to x plus 36 because these are vertical angles. So let's write that down first. 10x plus 9 equals x plus 36. And then we just have to use some algebra, like in our other two problems, to solve for x. So let's subtract 9 from both sides first. Minus 9, 
minus 9. We have 10x equals x plus 27. And then we just have to subtract x off both sides. So minus x, minus x, 9x equals 27. And then all that's left is to divide by 9. So divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals 3. So there's an algebra problem using vertical angles, and that wraps up our discussion on angle pairs. Well, it's all the time we have for the math office today. Uh, who's that handsome guy up on the screen? Go ahead.